Hello friends, warm welcome to the channel World of Zoology. This is our next lecture on the topic instrumentation in the series and in this lecture we will consider the topic instrumentation with respect to the two that is points. One is the principle and another is the application of the electrophoresis apparatus. What is electrophoresis? First of all, that is definition of the electrophoresis, principle and application of the agarogel electrophoresis and polyacryl amide gel electrophoresis. Electrophoresis can be defined as the movement of charged particles under the influence of electric field in general. Electrophoresis can be defined as the separation of charged molecules through an inert porous support material by applying an electric charge is the definition which is the technical definition with all aspect of the electrophoresis. Thus electrophoresis is migration in uh, with electricity. For such migration, the molecules under investigation must have some charge on it. For example, a proton with of the different metal ions or the ions such as hydroxyl, chloride, bromide, etc. And an electric field has to be applied across the cell containing electrodes and the charged particles. The latter can be done by using two metal rods. That is, the electrodes are usually two metal rods, usually inert to the system under consideration, that are deep in a cell containing the species or ions or particles we wish to see migrating. If, for example, we dip to such metal rods, say of the platinum, in a beaker containing water and connect the rods by means of conducting metal wire to the terminals of the battery and an emitter, we observe that when the electrical circuit is so completed, reaction occurs in the beaker in the form of bubbles which are prominent near one electrode means gathering of the or uh, emission of the electrode which is near one electrode is observed here the electrophoresis vertical apparatus are shown with cathode that is negatively charged electrode and anode that is positively charged electrode at the two ends and sample is loaded into the wells with the uh, sample the, the separation of the particle takes place under the influence of the electric field on the gel. Second diagram is also showing the same with separated uh, particles on the gel film. Larger size particles they remain uh, remains to the surface whereas the smaller size particle they move farther from the loading point that is away from the point of the loading and buffer is again collected at the base which is shown in this diagram. Again the electrophoresis horizontal apparatus is here. The previous one are vertical electrophoresis uh, apparatus whereas the, the latter one is horizontal electrophoresis apparatus which is shown here with whales, anode, cathode and the space for the buffer. Here the two types of forces acting on the particle. One is the electrostatic force in one direction and in uh, on the another side friction force and electrophoretic retardation force uh, which acts on the particle when it moves under the influence of electric field 
on gel media. What happens is that when battery is applied to a potential difference across the electrodes, one electrode becomes electron rich while the another electrode becomes electron deficient. The electron rich electrode attract protons from the water. Slight dissociation of water would lead to the formation of H plus ions that is protons and OH minus ions that is hydroxyl ions. Since the electrode is electron rich, the positively charged protons get neutralized into the hydrogen atom. And when two such hydrogen atoms get together, hydrogen molecule is formed resulting in the evolution of the gas and that results in the formation of the bubbles to that uh, at that particular uh, point or that electrode. The ions moving towards the negatively charged electrode is called as the cation. Here ions moving toward the negatively charged electrode means in this example, H plus ions or uh, protons, which are known as cations. And the electrode is called as cathode. Cations move towards the cathode. Similarly, negatively charged hydroxyl ions, that is OH minus ions, move towards the positively charged electrode. And these ions are called as anions while the electrode is called an anode. Therefore, here anode is positively charged and anions move towards the anode. Such movement of charged particles under the influence of an electric field depends upon along with the potential applied to and the charges on that particular particles. On the number of other factors such as the medium, or the solvent which is involved here, the size of the electrode, the size and shape of the charged particles which are moving under electric force or the under influence of electric field and therefore it becomes possible to control the movement of charged particles toward a given electrode. Principle of the electrophoresis. If a mixture of electrically charged particle is placed in electric field of electric strength E, such charged particles will tend to move towards the electrode of the opposite charge, cations towards the cathode and anions towards the anode. This movement of charged particle towards the respective electrode it depends upon various factors. One factor number one that is applied electric field. Second factor the charge on that particular particle. The medium in which such particle is moving and size of the electrode fourth one and fifth one the size and mass of the charged particle. So the controlling various parameters on which such movement depends can make it possible to design cells for the specific purpose. For example, if all other parameters mentioned above are maintained constant except the size and mass of the particle, it may be possible to design a cell in which particles with similar charge in a given system of electrode and solvent medium would move towards the respective electrodes only on the basis of their size and mass that is size and mass of the particles thus making it possible to separate the particles on the basis of differences in their size and mass this technique can be used to separate identify and purify molecules of the biological interest. Although the principle of electrophoresis does not assume any 
particular type of requirement about the liquid medium for the movement of the charged particles. Most methods use three-dimensional network structure as the medium connecting the two buffered zones. This medium is gel. The most important advantage of using gel matrix is that it acts as a molecular sieve. It almost does not interfere with the migration of small particles, that is inert, but greatly retards the movement of large particles. All gels are characterized by an average pore size. Molecules much smaller than the pore size of the gel are almost unaffected by presence of gel. While molecules which are larger than the pore size of the gel do not migrate in gel and the forces are stronger. When the ions are comparable in size with the pore size of the gel, the gel exerts pronounced size depending uh, or depend dragging force on them which is shown in our previous diagram. As such, the pore size of the gel determines the type of the particles that can be separated by the given gel. In general, the gel has to fulfill some important criteria to be applicable for the biochemical electrophoresis as follows. Means some of the important criteria which are applicable for biochemical electrophoresis are given below. One, that it needs to be water loving. Water loving means hydrophilic. It needs to be chemically stable, that is inert. It should not participate in the chemical reaction during electrophoresis. Third one, it should be neutralized, that is, it should be free of electric charge. Otherwise, it would act as an ion exchanger. So, next point, that is fourth one, it should be mechanically strong. That is, it should not too elastic or too rigid, as such a gel would be difficult to handle if it is too elastic or too rigid. Then fifth one, the gel should be transparent since the separated particles need to be visualized in the gel by some type of staining procedure. Therefore, gel should be transparent. It should be possible for the experimenter to manipulate the pore size of the gel. That is next one. Now we will consider the next that is agarose gel electrophoresis that is the type of the media which is used for the separation. Agarose is a natural linear polymer extracted from seaweeds that forms a gel matrix by hydrogen bonding when heated in a buffer and allowed to cool. For most application only single component agarose is needed and no polymerization catalysts are required for most of the applications. Therefore, agarose gel are easy and quick to prepare. Here agarose gel electrophoresis apparatus is shown which is horizontal unit or the apparatus with anode and cathode at the two different ends that is cathode means negatively charged electrode and anode is the positively charged electrode attracting two different ions towards it and the gel which is set uh, on the platform and electric field is applied the direction of the migration of the particle is also shown with uh, the well for the loading of the sample is shown here. They are the uh, agarose gel which are the most popular medium for the separation of the moderate and large size, uh, size nucleic acids and have a wide range of separation. Nucleic acids means RNA and DNA. But 
a relatively low resolving power since the band form in the gel tend to be fused and spreads apart this is a result of the pore size and cannot be largely controlled here in agar gel electrophoresis the instrument which is uh, shown here is for separation of the dna therefore agar gel electrophoresis of dna is shown here where after separation the bands becomes vis visible uh, when they are treated with the uh, suitable coloring agent and a horizontal platform on which there are well or slots are there for sample loading of the samples with one end connected to an uh, anode and another to the um, cathode and buffer solution is there for the movement of the charged particle and also for the um, dissociation all next is the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis that is also known as page in this type of electrophoresis the gel is prepared by chemically cross linking or what we term it as polymerization of acrylamide with n n dash methyl um ethylene bisacryl amide methylene bisacryl amide n n dash methylene bisacryl amide the reaction is free radical polymerization reaction is free radical polymerization and this reaction is carried out with initiator known as ammonium persulfate and n n n dash n tetramethylene ethyl uh, tetramethylene ethylene diamide that is timid which is used as the catalyst tetramethylene ethylene diamide which is used here as a catalyst known as timid although gels are generally more difficult to prepare and handle involving longer time for the preparation as compared with the agar agar gel they uh, they have major advantage over the previous one that is agar agar gel the polyacrylamide gel have greater resolving power can accommodate larger quantities of dna without significant loss in the resolution and the dna recovered from polyacrylamide gel is extremely pure moreover the pore size of the polyacrylamide gel cannot be altered easily and in controllable fashion by changing the concentration of the two monomers however it should be noted that polyacrylamide is a neurotoxin that means it affect the nervous system when in the unpolymerized condition but with proper lab care laboratory care it is no more dangerous than various commonly used chemicals in the laboratory gel electrophoresis experiments can be performed by using a relatively simple setup it doesn't require more complicated setup it means it requires a mold to form a gel means where we can form a mold for the gels an apparatus to hold the gel and contain buffers and a power supply which is capable of delivering required voltage or the current now we'll consider the next point that is nothing but the application of the gel electrophoresis of the both that is dna first one is the dna analysis it is common knowledge that deoxyribonucleic acid that is dna 
can give specific information regarding the number of aspects of the biological importance such as identifying paternity that is parental identification and in various forensic investigations. DNA may be arranged in sequences through electrophoresis experiments and specific DNA sequence can be analyzed isolate and after isolated and clone. Uh, there's uh, materials which are DNA in nature, they can be analyzed, isolated and cloned. Second application is in the protein analysis. Through electrophoresis, the amount of given protein in given biological sample may be assayed. Clinical diagnosis regarding a disease may also be possible by comparing with the standard values. That is for diagnostic purpose. Next, usually for this purpose, blood, urine sample are analyzed here. The third application is antibiotic analysis. Drugs such as ampicillin, that is antibiotic, have been analyzed, synthesized and purified by the electrophoretic technique or electrophoresis. Antibiotic analysis has helped to understand the type of bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. Hence, we can identify the antibiotic resisting, uh, resistant strains of the bacteria. The fourth application of the electrophoresis is vaccine analysis. Purification, processing and analysis of vaccines which are used for influenza, hepatitis, polio has been reported to be done by electrophoresis. Thus, we have finished principle, the structure of the apparatus and application of the electrophoresis with agarose gel electrophoresis and polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the lecture, do like, share the video for the benefit of the maximum students and subscribe the channel World of Zoology for the further notification of my lecture on the same topic that is instrumentation.